because I get my speaker's job through vote of my colleagues. I don't become the speaker because someone issues an edict. If, if I had completely disenfranchised those people, there would have been an opponent to me for the office of speaker and I would have lost. Since 1983, Illinois has had six governors, more than 200 state senators, and more than 500 state representatives. But for all but two years since then, one man has remained Speaker of the House, Mike Madigan. He is the most powerful politician in the state. Some people call him the King of Illinois. How does one politician stay in power so long? First, like every other state representative in Illinois, Madigan gets elected every two years. He's been the representative of the tiny 22nd district since 1971. While he only gets an average of 20,000 votes each election, that's plenty for Madigan. These 20,000 people send him to Springfield, where he wields his massive power as speaker over more than 12 million Illinoisans. Just like we elect our state representatives, state representatives elect the speaker of the house every two years. To become speaker, Madigan just needs a majority vote, 60 out of 118 House members. The Democratic Party has had a majority in the Illinois House for all but two years since 1983. They can select anyone to be the House speaker, but they choose Madigan every time. It's easy to see why. Madigan has unprecedented power. If a Democratic House member doesn't vote for Madigan, he can take away her campaign money, her committee chairmanship, and even make sure none of her bills get a hearing. So where does that leave regular Illinoisans? Well, it means they don't really choose their representative in Springfield. They choose Madigan, like it or not. Nothing will change until House members decide they've had enough. In January 2017, they'll have a choice yet again. Will they stand up to Madigan or continue to silence their votes by giving one man all that power?